Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new Windcraft video for you guys today. So we got something today that people have been asking for for quite a while, and that is a loot build, a maxed out loot build. Um, and I got what I think to be the maxed out loot build, but it has a couple of negatives, so you're going to have to decide on if you want to wear all of them or not. So we'll talk about it as we go. But, um, yeah, this is a maxed out set of loot build. This is what we use. So, for the helmet, we are going to be using something called Pelier. Pelier has a max of 33. So, I only have a 27, but um, not too bad, I guess. So, 23, or 33, sorry. And then Diamond Dust is a rare chest, 93, that has a 45 as a max on um, loot. Jera, which is the pants, is a 52. All of these items, I should say, are relatively easy to get. I'm going to explain. You can pretty much just take a class and grind for them since most of them are rare. Pirate's Luck is weird. A level, or it's a 32% XP or uh, loot bonus, but you have to buy them for 4 LE at Pirate's Cove. So for rings, we're using uh, two old keepers. The max is 29. Now they do have negative health and negative health regen, so you're going to have to decide if you want to use them. Knuckle Bones is 33%, but again, it does take lifesteal, so you're going to have to decide if you want to use that or go for something else. Pendant of Prosperity you get from the Fantastic Voyage quest, and it's got a 21% loot bonus. So that should give you 274% loot bonus. Now, this is where I'm going to kind of tell you guys what I think. I have not noticed a difference above about 130. You see I'm running with about 230. I get the same loot at 230 as I do at 130. So you could pretty much just nix your jewelry, use your own jewelry, and have pretty good health. Like I said, there's not much of a difference. I tried grinding with 100% and I tried grinding with 200% and I didn't see a difference. Um, I saw a difference on how many emeralds dropped because of the stealing, but I didn't see a, enough of a difference to say that, you know, it's worth doing 230 instead of 100. Now, I guess it's up to you to decide, but yeah, you can see I'm down on one health. It's not going to take more than that one health, so it's never going to kill me, but it's always going to leave me at one health. Now, if you were doing something like in a grinding party with your friend, or if me and Bree were in a grinding party, what I would do is I'd probably slap on the 230 and I would sit up on a ledge and I would just throw meteors down and I would, uh, you know, kill mobs and um, that would work out pretty well. But you see, we took off the jewelry, we're about 170% and that's still plenty to get everything you need. So I guess it depends on you and what you're going to do. If you're going to grind with a friend or um, somebody and they're going to be picking up the items then you can just hang out on the ledge and kill a bunch of mobs and let them pick up all your legends and rares and a mythic if you get it but um that's basically it 274 is the max loot bonus on win at the time so i'll update it later on if there is another one but that's basically it uh let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next from me because i got a couple extra builds left and i'm working on a super fresh new build for um Pretty much any class that's earth built so it'd work for gaia it'd work for grim trap it'd work for um alcatraz so it'll be a pretty beast build i'm gonna try to work on that it's gonna take me a bit but let me know what you guys want from me on these build slash tutorial things on monday but that's gonna do it though for now thank you guys so much for watching i have been hip and i will see you guys next time